So this is the third video where I go through the 29 paintings that I've selected uh, to put on sale on the 29th of July uh, to commemorate uh, Vincent van Gogh's uh, the date of his death. And the previous ones were portraits and black and white. Uh, this is a motley collection uh, which I chose from the lowest price bracket for our thousand paintings that we have left after finishing the film and they all uh, appeal to me for different reasons which I'll go through now. Firstly, we have this which is almost black and white, which is a, a, a painting transition which was done by Anna Valouche. So it started off in colour and progressively, frame by frame, uh, she transitioned it into black and white, but there's still some colour left there, so it's completely unique in terms of the film. Next to that, uh, we have a very thick impasto action um, scene uh, where Idiot Boy uh, comes to find uh, Armand Roulon at night by the river and there are some hard drinking men and one of them trips him over and this is that moment of being tripped over. So um, the action is really concentrating on the trip um, that's about to come and uh, that is why it's uh, headless, everyone's head's cut off, but uh, still, I really like the thick impasto and the colours in this. Below that, um, um, we have a painting by Michalis uh, Palapopoulos, and um, again, this is from the fight by the river, so it's an action shot with Armand having just uh, smashed one of the, the bullies in the face and is about to be attacked by another one behind him and uh, while it's a little bit obscure, I like the action and I like the colours. Here, uh, this is not from the film, this is actually one of our, our early design paintings um, where we constructed the whole uh, design of how Pear Tangi would talk to Armand Roulon, how the lighting would be in the set. So um, it's a, a fine uh, painting by Igor um, Salata. Um, it's not from the film, but it is part of the, the, the design process uh, that we went through. And um, it's a different kind of uh, canvas that we use for this. Um, and I like it very much. Below that um, is another painting from uh, Michalis. It's a, a, a brilliant shot in the film of a Lieutenant Millet um, set against a starry night, beautiful colours. Um, it's just at the end of the shot, he was leaning down to, to pick up a, a letter on the floor. So we have motion blur on it, which is why it's in this category. Um, but yeah, stunning colours. Um, the next three I'm going to show you are background keyframes. Um, this one, I think, was done by Jerzy uh, Lissak, um, one of our, our design painters. And this was setting the design for the scene with uh, Dr. Masary. Um, and this is uh, his doorway that Armand has, has just come through. Um, very nice colours. Um, it's in this category because there are no characters in it. Uh, but yeah, very fine colours. Below that, um, we have another um, design painting for backgrounds by uh, Malena uh, Jopik, who's uh, one of our most prolific painters and uh, one of our, our top animators and design painters. And this looks very much like uh, it, um, sheaves of, of wheat. And um, for that reason, it appealed to me because it looked like the, that Van Gogh painting. And it was painted by Malena, who's one of our very, very uh, best um, painters and animators and who was with us from the very, very beginning. Uh, next to this, uh, we have um, a shot by Christos uh, Marmaris. Uh, it was a brilliant shot with um, uh, Armand looking out the window of the train carriage as they're coming into Paris. Um, but unfortunately, he's just scarpered because uh, he was asleep and uh, he realised the train might go without him. And below that, uh, we have a painting from our master of painting transitions, uh, Dominika Hoffman. Um, there's a brilliant transition um, from the wine glass into the steps of uh, uh, the house, the yellow house, and Armand is tentatively walking up the steps to see what's happened to Vincent on the night of the year. 
Um, and it was done in reverse, so um, it ends up on the wine glass that uh, Armand Roulon is staring into. If no one buys that in the first 24 hours, I think I definitely will. And then two oddities on the end. <laughs> And they just appeal to me. I don't know if they'll appeal to anyone else. Um, this was one where we had to do a background fix and um, uh, of Armand coming out the door. And uh, so that's why uh, there's just an outline for his character. But I love the night colors of, um, uh, of, of it. And, and uh, so uh, it just seemed very mysterious. And I thought even though it was a fix, it turned out very well. Below that, we have the last shot uh, from uh, Charlene Mosley, and uh, maybe this will just appeal to her or her parents, but I liked it. So with this one, we actually had to redo, uh, do a fix on the dress. So she was just animating uh, the dress, um, but uh, when she finished the shots, she decided to add a little cartoon. Um, You're a catalyst to your own happiness is a feeling. And there we go, 109, the end. That was the last frame that she did from uh, the almost year that she spent with us uh, coming over from America to be part of the production. And I just quite liked it, so I put it in my selection.